Lovely pile of stones, that. I've got to try and make a nice wall out of that. All right, it's the weekend. Another little cheeky job to bash out. Got a um, small garden retaining wall, about 15 to 20 meters long. It's going to take it all down because it's basically like piled up stones and try and make a wall out of it, rebuild it. A bit of cement in the back. Let's see what happens there. Just a piled up load of rocks. It's about 20 meters long in total, so. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's go. So I've just started picking away at this, like the right side of the wall. But you can just see, look, here's just cement. Someone has literally just plopped a load of cement on. And yeah, it's like these bits here, look. It's the wall, look, it's a bit of cement that literally just gone hey cement oh i'm gonna do with that oh let's put the banging stone on it sweating I thought it was actually dry stone but it's not <laughs> um, when they built the house it is just full of it's just a cement ball so what I'm trying to do is, is obviously knock off the face of it about you know a boots width just so basically I'm just gonna sort of reclad onto it as you see it's just uh, it's just like solid cement so we've just breeze blocks it's just definitely chucked in there so because this is literally solid and obviously because it goes back about a couple of foot as well i don't want to take any uh any more out because i'm just going to disrupt literally the whole of the bed and they don't this customer specifically said please don't harm the plants we've already got a little bit of a pile going but yeah no so it's taking a bit long, longer than i thought this side's done. This side's lovely because it was dry stone. It just it was just a pile of rocks. So this side, yeah, it's all right. I'm getting there, about halfway. I'd say that's obviously there. I'm up to about here. So yeah, just get that ripped up. Why is it raining? Why is it raining? Up the 
spoke to the customer. They've got a load of like blocks they want in the wall just to get rid of them. But they're horrible things. They're too nice. Do you know what I mean? They're too nice for a stone to have for a dry stone effect. Got a base under there. Just sort of get up to lavender here. So carry on that bit after a bit of lunch. That's going good. Lovely. Look at this though, eh? What a treat. Oh yeah. Day one done. Got a base row along there. Sort of got up a bit more here. Yeah, it's just been a been quite hard one really because uh, the stone is absolutely lovely. Not. <laughs> That's all good. So I'm going to smash on tomorrow. Come back along, and it's just yeah because it's I've just I've got to keep going until I use the stone up as well. So I can't build up to a height because if I run out of stone, I'm gonna sort of stuff myself over and I so yeah carry on back along this way tomorrow all the way along and then yeah sort of get some sort of level going and it's all good all right let's go on let's go on <coughs> not the best start just choked at me a bit harder oh but yeah <coughs> so day two I've just come back from a uh, hunting around the customer's garden looking for stone as you do um but yeah no so today's agenda is just uh get 
get this little wall as high as possible, looking the best it can do and get it as level as possible. a bit low on stone <laughs> um so yeah i've just spoken to the customer and what i'm gonna do now is just finish off the top just dry stone it um because this is a bit exposed a bit more exposed this area along the wall obviously you've got the lavender covering that bit so what i'm gonna do this bit is just yeah dry stone a top course and just sort of work back and uh a to hide the cement and b to use all the stone you know what I mean? Because you can see this cement there, so that needs to be hidden. I've obviously angled it, so a bit of, you know, topsoil or dirt can go on top of it to hide it. But yeah, you'll see customer wants all the stone gone. So I'm going to try my best, my ever so best to uh, put another course on and make it look reasonably good. But I'll just... You know, it's one extreme to the other. Look, lovely bit of blue lice there. Oh, yeah. But don't worry. Don't worry. I've got lots of slivers, so we do something, eh? Uh, it's, all, it's all fun, and it? It's all part of the job. So, yeah. From about there to there, nice little dry stone course, and see how it turns out. Shake the room, everything's packed away. They're key, they want to keep the waste because they've got a long, long track which they want to fill their potholes with. Well, anyway, job done, nice and strong. They're going to literally rip out this bed now. Um, now, this is obviously done, um, hence why I use cement as well because they're going to rip it out, sort of level the whole lawn, get a new planting plan in place. So, yeah, with the stone I had, I think it's come out all right. Just you know, best I could really. Really old stone as well. You start hitting it, it just crumbled. So try to flatten rocks basically. But yeah, there's the right side, a bit lower. Like down here, it's only two courses, but they wanted this one lower because they're not really touching it. Whereas this side obviously is going to get leveled up. You can sort of see how high I've gone. Obviously in that aspect. But yeah, no, I just sort of 
sorted it out. Yeah, no. I'm happy, customer's happy, so that's the main thing. Now they can, uh, yeah, sort their plants out and uh, everyone's happy. Yeah, lovely. We'll